Hello friends, my name is Dr. Pura Dewan, and today in this video, I will tell you about how a kidney failure patient can reduce the level of creatinine and urea, which is the major problem of kidney patients. The tips that I am going to tell you today will be really beneficial for you to bring your creatinine and urea levels down. Increasing levels of creatinine and urea in kidney failure patients cause a lot of physical and mental trauma. And, if you know how to control the level of creatinine and urea, not only do patients get relief from mental trauma, but also the complications the patient is suffering. So let's start with understanding creatinine first. Creatinine is a waste protein produced by our muscles during muscle metabolism, and it is produced in each and every individual. In a healthy individual, the level of creatinine remains in the range of 0.6 mg per deciliter to 1.1 mg per dl. Creatinine levels remain in the normal range because there is a constant excretion of creatinine through the kidney by urine. But in kidney failure patients, creatinine starts accumulating in the body. The reason is the low functioning of the kidneys. So basically, we are judging the functioning of the kidney with the accumulation of creatinine. This is the same as our pending jobs telling our boss how efficient we are. So to reduce the level of creatinine, first, we have to increase the functioning of the kidney. The question arises why the functioning of the kidney is decreasing in most patients. Approximate 80% of patients lose functioning of the kidney just because of high BP and diabetes. So to control the level of creatinine and urea, we have to protect our kidneys from further damage. We have to control the level of BP and sugar. So that no further damage to the kidney may happen in the future, means there will be no elevation of creatinine level if we control BP and sugar. Once the level of creatinine stops increasing, it's easier to improve the functioning of the kidney, as there is no further damage happening inside the kidney. Now the question arises of how we can reduce the level of creatinine. I will explain this later in this video. Before that, we have to understand what other things increase the level of creatinine in our body. As I told you earlier, creatinine is a protein. It's a waste material produced by a muscle, so if a kidney failure patient consumes a large amount of protein, what will happen it will increase the creatinine values. So for any kidney failure patient, we have to reduce the amount of protein. We have to avoid all kinds of protein-rich items like egg cheese, milk, mutton, chicken, and fish. Another important thing is that we have to keep our muscles at rest. Suppose a kidney failure patient does lots of vigorous exercises. What will happen? This will increase muscle metabolism as muscle metabolism increases creatinine formation in the muscles. It will also increase, which will ultimately be reflected in the kidney function test reports. So, kidney failure patients must avoid all kinds of exercises like running, swimming, jogging, or playing any sports. Patients can do yoga and breathing exercises like annulum bilum praneum. Other things you have to avoid are fever and cold climate. Both fever and cold climate increase the production of creatinine in our body but it remains in the normal range as the kidneys are functioning properly. But in kidney failure patients, the level of creatinine increases in the blood as a kidney is not functioning well. As I told you earlier, it's very important to increase the functioning of the kidney. Then only the creatinine levels come to the lower range for that. We have to understand how high BP and sugar damages are to the kidney. When BP increases with every heartbeat, a small capillary system present inside the kidney takes its impact. Because of the constant impact on the cells of those vessels, they become hard. They become sclerosis, and the blood supply to the kidney for filtration decreases. Not only does the supply for filtration decrease, but the blood supply, which provides oxygen and nutrition to the cells of the kidney, also decreases because of less availability of oxygen and food to the cells of the kidney size of a kidney starts shrinking. All the patients who suffer from kidney shrinkage are just because of high blood pressure. One can observe shrunken kidney in their ultrasound reports. So, in a normal patient, kidney size is around 9 cm to 10 cm. 
If your kidney size is below 9 cm and you are suffering from high levels of creatinine with a history of high blood pressure, that means high BP is the main culprit of kidney failure in your case. Now, let's try to understand how diabetes affects the functioning of the kidney when a person suffers from high sugar levels. The blood which enters for the filtration also contains sugar in high level. This not only affects the health of nephrons of the kidney but also causes extra work on the kidney. Kidneys have to work extra to remove excess amounts of sugar through urine so that the other vital organs like the brain heart and pancreas lungs can be protected from high sugar levels. So, you can understand how kidney has to make a sacrifice to protect other organs. Now, let's move to how we can improve the functioning of the kidney. As I told you earlier, it's very important to control the main culprit of kidney failure. If it's high blood pressure, in your case, we have to control the blood pressure, and if it is high sugar level, then we have to control the sugar levels, we have to bring it down to the normal range. Once BP and sugar come into the normal range, kidneys have the ability to improve their function. Let's try to understand with an example. Suppose one person has donated one kidney to another. Even after having a single kidney, the level of creatinine and urea doesn't increase. Now ask yourself how this happens. After removing the kidney, the functioning of the kidney should be reduced by half, and the level of creatinine and urea should increase, but this doesn't happen because the kidney has the ability to improve its functions. We have to use this power of the kidney in each kidney failure patient to bring down levels of creatinine lower. With the help of kidney function restoration treatment, which is a herbal treatment, the functioning of the kidney improves. Now I want to show you a few reports of my patient. As you can see clearly, the functioning of the kidney has improved drastically in a very short period of time. I want to add one more thing, the success rate of kidney function restoration treatment is 80%. That means 80% of patients with kidney failure can observe lower levels of creatinine and urea within the time span of two months. So, I hope now you have understood how you can bring your creatinine down. I hope these tips will be really helpful for you guys to bring your creatinine levels down. I will bring more such information in the coming videos. Till then, stay healthy. Thank you for watching.